Hey guys, uh, got a brand new solar panel. We're gonna try to hook it up, but first I gotta build a um, a mount for it, a little frame for it. It's a flexible solar panel we got on Amazon, and I'll show you how we're gonna do it. Uh, let me find the solar panel. Gotta measure it out first. Okay, we're gonna unbox the solar panel. This is a 160 watt flexible. See what it looks like. Measure it out. Let's see here. Look at that. Look at that. Comes with dog hair, looks like. Can you see that? That's about five foot by, well, a little less than five. Let's measure it out. It is, it's five foot. It's five foot by 26 and a half inches, a little over two feet. Okay, let's hook it up. Let's build a frame for it first. Let's go do that. Okay, so here's what we need. Number one, Sharpie. Uh, we got three sticks of half inch Schedule 40 PVC. Uh, that's all they had. I was wanting Schedule 80, but that's all they have is uh, Schedule 40 uh, PVC pipe. And of course you're gonna need the PVC glue. A tape measure and this handy dandy cutter that I've had for Lord knows how long used it twice almost threw it away a couple times or give it away but guess what now I need it uh, anyway so this cuts PVC really 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 easy all right and we have we're gonna need um, two cross braces so whenever you build it you want to do Two cross braces to keep it uh, keep the panel, you know, from you know drooping. So we have four T's, uh, PVC T's, and we have four half-inch elbows, PVC elbows. Okay. PVC elbows. I'm hoping this comes out because the sun's out, winds really really strong <laughs> okay so now let's get busy making this and you'll probably see a lot of debris flying around because like I said it's very windy and the trees are are uh, kind of shedding all their stuff so you want to cut the longest pieces first always if you cut anything make sure you do the longest pieces first uh, and then do the short pieces later and because if you you can always cut it down if it's too long but you can never really add to it if it's uh, too short on your cut so each one of these pieces you're gonna have to take out about approximately an inch uh, for these fittings because whenever you stick them in here there's about an inch difference in there uh, so you always subtract at least one inch from every side so if you have two sides like you're doing a uh, our longest piece is going to be even though this this uh, panels 60 inches which is five feet you still are going to have to cut it down in sections to get the T's uh, to fit for the cross braces so your longest piece is going to be uh, 27 inch so take two inches off because if you want to get 27 inch overall then you're gonna to have to take two inches off because like I said each one of these are going to be one inch different or it's going to add one inch so if you got 27 inches you're looking at 25 inches so let's cut that 25 inches Alright, looks clean, 
looks clean. Let me see. Yeah, we're still online. So, measured out. Gonna need two of them, two 25 inches. Put it on there. This thing cuts pretty square and easy. I'm not going to glue this thing up yet. You want to build the whole frame and make sure everything's going to work out good first. Then you glue it. Man, there's a dirty out here. Alright, there's a one end. Here's the other end. There's two ends. There's one here and one here. And I can continue working on this one. So, if we want 60 inches, we're going to have to take one inch, one inch, one inch, one inch away to get 60 inches. Two more 25 for the middle. I forget where that pin went. Hope you can hear me over the wind and the traffic. There's a lot of traffic out. You don't want to glue them up yet. I want to make sure everything's going to work. dirty out here. This thing's got a lot of uh, static electricity too. Jeez, crumb. There's your frame. That is perfect. I had to move because the wind picked up and uh, it started blowing things around. Plus, it just made everything dirty. But now it's starting to sprinkle. You just can't do anything around here, evidently. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and glue it up. I had to clean everything up. I gotta glue everything up and uh, put it all together. So, I painted this thing just so uh, 
look okay from the one side, but uh, of course I ran out of paint, so it doesn't matter. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I had to go find some screws, and I had to wait for them to... Somebody's using uh, the woods behind us as a shooting range. So I had to wait for them to stop so I could film more. Anyway, I'm pre-drilling these holes. don't want to tighten it down super tight because you don't want to uh, you don't want to break anything this is all fiberglass anyway just snug flattens it all out just snug Just snug. Looks, looks good. And it looks like it's about to rain. That's super cloudy. Of course, because I want to try out the uh, solar panel. So it's going to get cloudy. Okay, these I'm going to have to cut because they didn't give me the uh, fittings for these. So I'm just going to have to cut it. First, I need to uh, see which is positive and which is negative. You don't want to mess that up. All right, let me put this away. Grab this, and it should be putting out some kind of a power. 12 volt. Yeah, it's 21. That's, uh, this is negative. That's positive. Negative, positive. Okay, let's hook it up the other way just to check again. Yep, minus. Twenty-one point six volts already. That's wonderful. Works great. All right, now I got some. I uh, got the panel flipped over. This is, um, how we call that stuff? Anyway, it's a pipe, pipe cover for the winter. We bought it for a pipe for the winter time. And we got it. Why not use it? So, it's a little it's a bit too big for this, but uh, use it anyway. Well, it doesn't cover my panels. I don't think I got enough to go all the way around though. Okay. I think the wind died down for a minute to do that. Covering the uh, panels. 